joining us on this episode of uh, Respect the Risk. One of the fundamental philosophies, really, of uh, respecting the risk is knowing multiple different ways to do the same thing, in some cases with a minimal amount of equipment. And um, so what, I'm gonna sh what we're going to show you here today is really two ways to make a climbing harness um, in the event that you don't need one. In, uh, in the prior episode, we, uh, I demonstrated how to tie in, you know, in the event of an emergency, how to tie into the end of the climbing road using a bowline. So this is doable, it does work. There's a number of drawbacks to it. Um, you know, we, Edward Wimper used this. It was used in the 1800s, 1900s, probably up until the 60s when I believe Don Willens invented one of the first sit harnesses. Um, people tied in with a bowline around the waist. Guys like Chris Bonington and Willems, Willens himself started climbing like this. Uh, the problem is, if you fall off on steep ground and you're unconscious or you're on an overhang, it tends to collapse your ribcage and there was a number of climber deaths that resulted from climbers suffocating while hanging in space. So, what do you do? You don't, you, uh, you dropped your harness, you're on a big wall, you drop your harness, you, you know, you go to, somehow, you drop your harness, what are you going to do? Um, well, one of the, one of the things you can do is, uh, you can uh, cut a, you know, several meters off the end of the climbing rope. Uh, now you may have tape sling. If you got tape sling, that will also work. But um, I'm going to show you here in real time with uh, kind of an old piece of climbing rope here. Um, I've uh, showed showed this for sailors too, but uh, same idea. You definitely want to leave a tail because we're going to tie a water knot there later. Um, so one leg loop, you know, big enough to get your leg in, and uh, that's probably just about right. You leave a maybe a fist or so of rope and then we're going to try and tie another overhand to make another leg loop and uh, you want them you know, roughly symmetric so that's probably about right and, uh, and then the next step is we're gonna we're gonna step into the leg loops and uh, so you can do this with I actually uh, first harness I ever had was made of one inch webbing in a harness like this. So there's the uh, uh, the two leg loops and now we're going to take this this uh, bit of rope and we're going to wrap it and uh, you can see it doesn't need to be as long as I have it. You know I've probably got enough there now but uh, because this is just a random piece of old climbing rope I'm going to continue the wrap just to show you. So there we go. Uh, I can't quite get one more wrap, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do a, a water knot here, or a flat overhand follow through. You can see this is a, I didn't burn the end, but uh, for the sake of this, this uh, uh, illustration, so I'm gonna follow it back through, follow my water knot back through, and. So there we go, my friends, is we now have a climbing harness with uh, two leg loops and a big waist loop. And let me just grab a, I'll show you a beater here. So if you were going to tie in, um, you know, you would just do this for a sec. Uh, if you were going to tie in and climb like this, you know, you're going to do your normal figure eight and you're going to come up through both of these. So, and then you'd finish off, you know, we'll, we'll finish off the eight, the tie in eight here. And uh, there is a makeshift climbing harness. You don't need this many wraps, um, but if you're going to repel, uh, now there's how you repel. So, makeshift climbing harness from a length of rope. Uh, many of us started climbing this way in the 70s and the early 80s because uh, we didn't have harnesses or we, uh, we 
couldn't af quite afford them, so uh, I climbed like with one inch tape with something like this for a couple of years. Um, it does work. Of course, modern harnesses are better. Okay, so you haven't got a whole pile of uh, you know one inch tape. You don't want to chop you know several meters off your climbing rope to to make yourself a harness. So what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to show you uh, another way to uh, essentially achieve the same thing. It's unorthodox, you'd only do it in an emergency, but it, you can do it with gear that you've got on hand. So I'm going to show you quickly how to make a makeshift harness out of uh, typical sewn shoulder length slings.